Well, finally, the placement season of 2024 and 2025 pass outs is starting, and we are coming up with a lot of opportunities. बहुत सारी कंपनीज तुम देख रहे होंगे कि हायर करना स्टार्ट कर चुके हैं. And you would have already seen GE Healthcare. There was a hackathon. Then there's a competition that is being conducted now by Flipkart. This competition is known as Flipkart Grid. So Flipkart Grid was conducted last year also. This year also, it has been conducted for past four five years to break that tier system. Everyone is allowed in this particular challenge. You can be from a tier. Tier three, tier four, tier five college, or you can be from a tier one college. Flipkart would give you an opportunity to interview for multiple different roles in software engineering, in robotics, in healthcare. So you will exactly get a chance to interview for their internships as well as full-time roles. In this entire video, we are going to discuss about how can you ace this Flipkart Grid challenge. What all things you need to keep in mind. What exactly is the challenge? How many number of rounds would be there, and how you can ace it? The link to register for the challenge is there in the description below. Make sure you do check that out as well. But before that, make sure you watch this entire video where we will be discussing about your preparation strategy, what should be there in your mind before participating, and how you can ace it away. If you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to this channel for more such upcoming updates and amazing placement season coming ahead. So without any further ado, let's get started. So what exactly is Flipkart Grid, and what we are going to discuss in this? Video is what is this program about? We'll talk in general about this program. Who can participate? We'll talk about the eligibility, different rounds, which all different rounds are there, and how you can ace each round. What all things you need to prepare for each of those rounds, and how can you be better than other? Because lakhs of students participate in this challenge. How you get an interview opportunity through this? How you will be exactly interviewing? What will be asked in those interviews? How to prepare and particular resources that you can follow. So all in all, it's going to be an entire video where we'll be discussing about Flipkart Grid. Now Flipkart Grid, what exactly? It's an ideation come project building competition with amazing prizes as well as a chance to interview for multiple roles at Flipkart. Flipkart earlier was going to campuses to hire candidates, but now they have come up with this program where they exactly test you upon your development skills, also upon your problem solving skills, also, and then they particularly hire you for different roles rather than going to campuses and taking interviews directly. So they have reduced the number of people they were hiring from on campus, but many people are hired through Flipkart Grid, and from previous years. Also, there are a lot of testimonies. You can go and check out different posts on LinkedIn. Many people have mentioned about this particular challenge, and many people have already benefited from the same. I have been covering this for the past two, three years, and it has been amazing. So it's a three-round program. Top teams from the competition gets a PPI for interviews at Flipkart for different roles. When I say different roles, it's a six-month winter internship and. Which which gives you one lakh per month uh, stipend. Along with that, you can get a full time role at Flipkart also with a package of thirty two lakhs per annum, out of which around twenty four to twenty five is the base salary. So twenty four twenty five base as a fresher is a very very good salary. Who can participate now in this competition? Everyone is eligible. Just that you need to be in college. So every college student, be it a first year, second year, third year, or final year student, is eligible. So third year and final year students are majorly targeted towards internships as well as placements. Whereas first year and second year students would get an opportunity to present themselves, get to know ki how to participate in such competitions, collaborate with their seniors and participate. So it's a great opportunity for first year and second year people also to get to know how to participate in such competitions. So it's a great opportunity that way. Also. so it's a team specific contest you need to have a three member team if you wish to participate same college teams are required for this competition like you can't make a team from somebody from another college all three members of your team should be there from your college itself different rounds and how to prepare so there are three different rounds first round basically and it's i would say it's a very very important round everything is based on this round almost 80% to 90% people are disqualified in this round so let's say if you see 1 lakh registrations for this challenge Around eighty thousand, ninety thousand people would be disqualified, and only ten thousand people would be left. This is just a tentative number, not an actual number. But yes, major disqualifications are there in this round, so you need to be very careful when you participate in this round. Now, what is there in this round? This is going to be a quiz contest on e-commerce and tech. When I say e-commerce and tech, so in e-commerce also, in tech also, there are multiple different tracks of which we'll be discussing, but. What these questions would be related to? These questions would be related to recent tech advancement. Let's say there's some technology that has recently been adopted, some new language that has come into picture. How it is helping people, right? So that kind of stuff would be there. Any particular company has launched a new product or a new technology that is making a people's life easier. That kind of questions you would uh, find. You can find questions related to CS fundamental and normal data structure algorithms. Something related to output. Something related to operating system. Something related to DBMS. So basic basic questions, not very very tough. If you have an understanding of 
basic fundamentals of these concepts you will be able to ace these mcqs for sure then there's a website known as stories.flipkart.com where you will find some blogs some articles related to flipkart e-commerce those questions those articles are very very important if you're preparing for the first round and dev basics you should understand how systems are built you should understand what are servers you should understand http protocols some things related to computer networks so you should have an understanding of all these concepts as well so this is the type of questions that the this tech quiz consists so now round one is very very important as i said most of the people are disqualified here so you need to clear this round one at any cost you need to go through all the resources that i mentioned previously you need to uh, note that the major thing here is time and competition it's not about difficulty level of questions but time how uh, well you are able to manage time and solve all the problems and how you are able to beat that competition because everyone in india is eligible to participate so that is a major challenge most important is you should aim for 100 percent that every question should be correct don't uh, make silly mistakes that might lose uh, give you a chance to not to move to the next rounds it's not tough it's easy but it's how you manage time and competition that is the key round two is basically idea shortlisting idea brainstorming and idea presentation there are four different tracks as i have mentioned one is healthcare track one is information security track one is software engineering track one is robotics track so for all these four tracks there will be certain different problem statements uh, given so those problem statements are the actual problem statement that flipkart might be facing at current point of time so what you need to do is you need to brainstorm on them tech blogs there are a lot of articles being written on different social medias by some of the engineering managers of those companies you need to understand how they are solving that particular problem then you need to brainstorm it with your team and come up with a solid idea see idea is very very important then then the implementation also because once you explain it to somebody the idea should look very very impressive right if the idea is good then uh, the person is very very interested to look to what is your solution also so make sure you brainstorm well and give a lot of time to discuss the idea brainstorm the idea remove all the negative points and come up with a solid idea then it's majorly about idea presentation how you present that idea well and you need to submit a prototype also let's say if it's a software solution so you need to submit the wireframes you need to submit a presentation in which you need to discuss how the flow would be there for the entire software then you need to wait for the shortlist after this once you are done like some of the teams would be shortlisted for the next rounds in which you you will be going and actually presenting your solution to management and leadership uh, 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 persons at flipkart where they'll evaluate your idea they'll give you more suggestions they'll help you understand what you have built and how you can improve upon that and from that they they will finally select the winners who will be exactly winning flipkart get 5.0 and now comes the most important thing how you'll get an interview opportunity do everyone gets an interview opportunity what's the scene right so everyone who clears the first round so this is as per last year almost everyone who cleared the first round was given a chance to give a test for flipkart's hiring process so you receive a test link after some time once you clear the first round then you need to solve that problems you need to give the test to complete the test 100 percent then go for interviews and you are finally selected for the role if you are a winner let's say you move to second third round already and you present your idea in front of the uh, panel then there are high chances that without the tests also you get a direct interview opportunity at flipkart so that's also going to be amazing so these are the two ways in which you interview for a flipkart and you get that stipend of 1 lakh per month and 32 lpa many students from tier 3 tier 4 colleges have done that so that's for sure there are a lot of testimonies if you want me to bring somebody on the table i'll bring him or her and we'll we can discuss Four different tracks I've already mentioned. One is software track, robotics track, healthcare track, information security track. For all these tracks, in the first round, questions would be different. Like for software engineering, it would be more related to basic software, it would be related to data structure, CS fundamentals, e-commerce. E-commerce is common in all. Then it would be uh, related to tech products, right? In similarly, in robotics, questions might be somewhere related to embedded. Questions might be somewhere related to Raspberry Pi. These different tools, different hardware tools. So you need to be specific to that. Health plus is something that they have introduced this year it was not the track last year information security you need to understand different protocols cyber security laws cyber security issues that companies are currently facing and how they were solved any bugs any viruses anything related to that can be asked along with e-commerce and tech that we generally mentioned so these are the four tracks how to prepare now focus on clearing round one major focus should be on clearing round one second round and third round it's still better the at this point of time what you should focus on is clearing round one idea presentation and ppt should be crisp and concise don't just exaggerate your idea in 10 slides or 15 slides 
having crisp slides uh, concentrating the information somewhere is very very important practice dsl goes side by side like whenever you get a chance to interview you will be asked data structural algorithm so don't mess up on the chance to practice interview uh, dsa questions so dsa is important here also idea should be impressive focus on a solid idea right as i already mentioned your idea your brainstorming part should take your maximum time research about the topic research about the problem statement all the possible test cases all the possible use cases you should have in your mind and you can uh, then come up with an idea Negle neglecting all those error cases all those uh, defaults that might come into picture strong team is necessary right so it's a three member program three uh, members should be there in your team have a strong team team should be a mix of everyone there should be somebody who is very good at presenting because if you even if you have a very good solution there should be somebody who can present that solution well to the interviewer so you should have somebody who is very good at presenting all of you should know tech basically somebody might be very good at front end full stack back end you might have skills related to ml you might have skills related to ai any of these skills uh, that you want to concentrate your solution on any technology can be used it should not be specific to web development machine learning ar vr anything can be used for sure but yes it should be a little unique something you need to think out of the box that is very very necessary having a strong team is the major key in all the rounds together right previous questions let's say for first round there are some previous year questions that i am gathering last year also i've gathered some of the questions so i'll try to share those questions with you you will get an idea of what kind of questions come in these rounds so that you can prepare for these questions better and for flipkart grid all over so go through all these previous year questions have an understanding of the first round as it is very very important round you can get them on my telegram group i'll share the link as soon as i have gathered all so telegram group link is uh, https://goelers this is the telegram group link i'll give this link in the description also make sure you join this telegram group if you this link doesn't work go on telegram and search for arsh goel youtube you'll find this channel there are already 95000 people present right so 95000 people are already in the telegram group you can also join this for more competition related hacks for more competition related updates make sure you do join this also this was all for this particular video i hope you people enjoyed this video if you have any more doubts any more things you want to ask do let me know in the comment section share this video with the friends and don't forget to follow see you in some other video also i have started getting content on instagram more than 1 lakh 30000 people are there make sure if you want to know more about these challenges about some of these tips related to software engineering you can join on instagram also the instagram handle is @arshgoelyt thank you so much all the best good luck and